Welcome to the solution of the Buzzkill Brain Teaser. In this problem, we have two trains that are moving towards each other. One of the trains travels at a constant speed of 10 kilometers per hour, and the other train is traveling at a constant speed of 15 kilometers per hour. Now, in between these two trains is a bumblebee, and the bumblebee travels at a constant speed of 30 kilometers per hour. Now, at this moment, the distance between the two trains is 150 kilometers. And the bee is going to travel back and forth between the two trains until they collide, and the bee is going to become buzzkill. Now, the question for this brain teaser is, how far will the bee travel before it becomes buzzkill? So, once again, let me give you all of the information that was given to us at the beginning of the problem. And there's two ways you can solve this. One way requires nothing more than basic algebra. And the other way is much more complicated. It requires calculating the sum of an infinite series. So take out your pen and paper and pause the video now if you do not want to see the solution yet. So how far is this bee going to travel before it becomes buzzkill? Now, I think the simplest and the easiest solution is the best solution. So let's solve this using basic algebra. And the only formula we need to solve this problem is the distance formula. Distance is equal to rate multiplied by time. So first we're going to use this formula only for the trains. We're going to find the time it takes for the trains to collide. So now let's use all the information that was given to us and plug it into this formula. So at the beginning of this problem, we were given that the distance between the trains is 150 kilometers. So we can plug 150 kilometers into the distance part of our equation. We were also given that one of the trains is traveling at a speed of 10 kilometers per hour, and the other train is traveling at a constant speed of 15 kilometers per hour. And if we add these two speeds together, we get the relative speed the two trains are traveling before they collide. So we can plug 25 kilometers per hour into our rate for our equation. So now the only thing we have left in our equation is the time it takes before the trains collide. And this can be solved quite easily. In order to make this equation true, we know the time has to be equal to 6 hours. 25 times 6 is equal to 150. Now the reason why this time of six hours is so important is because this is the same time the bee will spend flying. If you think about it, the time it takes for the trains to collide is exactly the same as the time the bee will spend flying. So now let's take a look at this distance equation with respect to the bee. Well we already know that this bee is traveling for a time of six hours and we also know from the beginning of this problem that this bee is traveling at a constant speed of 30 kilometers per hour. So let's plug this 30 kilometers per hour into our rate. And now we can easily find the distance the bee traveled by multiplying 30 times 6. So how far did the bee travel before the trains collided? 30 times 6 is equal to 180 kilometers. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in my next video.